the next step is uh, installing our IDE or Eclipse. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. This is where we write, compile, and see the output of our program. Let us visit again our browser. Click browser. Type here eclipse.org. Click get started now. Download Eclipse. And we're going to download Eclipse Classic. Okay, since I'm using Windows XP, I'm going to download the Windows 32-bit. Okay. If you're using Linux or Mac, okay, you can choose from this window. Okay, and you'll be prompted with the Linux version to download or Mac OS. So, you can still choose from this uh, download. So, let us go back on Windows since this, this is my system. So, I click Windows 32-bit. And you will be provided by a mirror on where, uh, where site you're going to download. You just click what is uh, given to you. Click this one. And you need to uh, wait for this to complete, to complete the download of the Eclipse. Okay, considering this is already complete, you double click this one. Depending on your uh, uh, extraction uh, program available, so I have here WinRAR. Okay, and I'm going to extract all files and select my root directory, drive C, as would be the destination path of where Eclipse IDE will be installed. I just click OK. Considering that our extraction of Eclipse is already done, we click Start, go to my computer, double click Drive C, local disk, and we look for the Eclipse folder. Double click it. And we right click this icon, okay, right click, and we send to desktop to create a shortcut. Click this one, and as you close this window, there is already a shortcut for our Eclipse. I'm just going to relocate it here. Okay, so we have already a shortcut for our Eclipse. Hi, this is Jerry. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see the script or codes of this tutorial, please click the link below. Do visit us on our Facebook and Twitter account. Don't forget to hit the like buttons.